sir, tell us about your song in uh, Mumbai Matinee. How did that? How did that happen? First? Okay. Um, well, basically, uh, PNC called me up and they said, um, you know, they have a dance song number in it. And I've been always so skeptical about these things because I'm still very young and <laughs> I don't know, I don't really like, I'm not comfortable exposing my body or too much, you know. And, um, and I think sex appeal for women is great and if they've got it, they should flaunt it completely. But I'm, I'm a, little, uh, <laughs> a little reserved right at the moment. So anyway, and I've had offers before, but I was a little skeptical. But then PNC rang me and I guess maybe because she was a female, it, it helped Rongita. And then they called me into the office, so I went for the meeting and I listened to the song and I fell in love with it. And especially that Latino part in the middle of the song. And so Anand Raj Anand has done a great job um, in the song. And then they told me Raymo is going to be my choreographer. And I've worked with him before for the Bombay Viking and Palgani Partick video. So I was really happy with that. And then they said that they, I could get my stylist and my hairstylist and makeup artist on board. So. I was like very comfortable <laughs> and um, you know it was close by the shooting area it was at Mykonos and it was a two-day shoot and I just had a blast doing it so that's how it all happened. Tell us about the song I mean we've heard it but tell us a little more about the feel of the song when um, well basically because my Hindi is not so good I was asking everybody <laughs> okay so what is the real meaning of this song and everybody was like, you know, he's stolen his heart and da -da -da -da, whatever. And all these different versions are basically love. So, <laughs> so basically I said, okay, so it's all about love. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice feel to the song. And I love the fact that it's got so many different contrasts in the music itself. It's got Indian and then there's that Arabic feel and there's a Latino feel um, and there's even like a rock kind of feel so all these things and being a dancer I love beats so anything I can move to and I think this song flows really well and it's got a soft but really kind of funky beat to it so I really enjoyed doing it and that's what the song is all about it's just basically love and uh, I am playing a temptress so <laughs> so maybe it's a little like a, a this tempting song for Rahul Bose to watch <laughs> Tell me something, do you think you're going to switch from VJ to acting? Um, everybody asks me that question. <laughs> I'm the last person to answer it actually because I have no idea. Um, I guess I take each day as it comes and um, I will not give up VJing. I know that until, I mean, I'm old and, <laughs> and they don't want me anymore. But um, right now I'm really comfortable, I'm happy. I mean, MTV treats me wonderfully and um, I love hosting my shows and being out there for the youth. I think while I'm still young, I want to be out there. And, you know, with MTV, we can um, send out lots of messages, um, whether it be about music or dance or anything like that, the glamour world. But we can also come down to hardcore topics like AIDS awareness and, and all those things that matter. So I think for me with MTV, it's more that I'm, I'm still young, I'm youthful, and I want everybody out there that watches us, 23.5 million viewers or whatever it is, to watch us and, and, and keep enjoying MTV. So for now, I'm happy there. But I love acting. I do it all the time, <laughs> whether it be on camera or off. And I don't know if I'm a good actor. I'll have to wait and see. I don't, I don't know. But And I want to be a dancer also. I was a dancer since I was six years old, so I want to continue doing that. And let's see, um, I had to sing for school, so maybe I might give a musical a try as well. Yeah. Okay, uh, do you realize you've been in this song because you're doing just one song? People are starting to call it an item number. Yeah. My chair is creaking every time I do. You do realize that people are saying it's an item number. So, how do you react to that? Well, at first, um, I was just like, God, what is those two words? <laughs> I mean, I just thought that item number somehow just cheapens the whole thing. And being a dancer, I really did it because I love to dance and I love the song and I love the storyline. It was really, it was, it was lighthearted. It was about, you know, a 32 year old virgin who's come to Mumbai and is seeking, you know, I mean, everyone's making fun that he's a virgin. And when he goes out to bars and stuff, he tries to find, you know, some, a partner that he can have sex with. But then he finds Perizad and discovers a new way 
to love. And so, so this whole concept was just, you know, um, wonderful and very lighthearted. And I thought, wow, you know, um, so for me, this item number thing, I don't know what it's all about, but I guess now I've gotten used to the word. So it's not that I accept it, but it's like, okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and I just hate it when they say, hey, item. It's like, oh God. <laughs> and I think that's why I got so hassled about item number, but otherwise it's cool. But as I said, I think, um, women generally are just really hot. And so you have your, um, like and you have your, um, anybody and they just do it so well and they look really good and I don't think they're items I think they're really hot girls so you know I think it's just um I don't know maybe it's demeaning maybe it's not but I just looked at it that way but I'm getting used to it now <laughs> maybe people will stop saying it after a while let's see I'm sure you will yeah <laughs>